here from BW1.com. We're gonna do a quick hardware comparison between the LG Optimus G and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Two very um, powerful devices out here in the market today, the LG Optimus G being the new one. Started with some of the four differences here. One of the first thing you notice here is the displays. This has, uh, the LG Optimus G has a 4.7 inch display. IPS display, so really sharp, really vibrant, and very accurate colors, and a very bright display as well too. The uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 has a uh, 4.8 inch HD AMOLED display. So it's a little bit bigger on the display, but not as, not, not as sharp in terms of the brightness and uh, sort of the quality with it. But they're two very good displays either way. Both are running Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich with a sort of own customized UI on top of it. This has touch wheels, we've seen that before. This has Optimus UI here on top of it. Some pretty cool things that you can do with it. One of the cool things you can do is a new thing called Quick Memo. So you do it just like that, and pretty much you can just kind of just draw right there on the screen here. Anything you want to draw, add notes and things like that. Pretty nice feature that's uh, available here on the, LG, uh, uh, on the LG Optimus G. We'll get into more than that in one of our other videos. Uh, they both run um, Qualcomm Snapdragon processors, but the difference here being is while the Galaxy S3 runs the Snapdragon S4 processor that's dual core with LTE, LG is the first phone to run this Qualcomm quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro processor with LTE in it. So, the, so you're not going to compromise sort of on the processing power here that you that you would have to compromise on here. So both are very fast and very fluid phones. Flipping here to the back, you can see that the uh, camera difference is there. The um, uh, Galaxy S3 has an 8 megapixel camera, while the LG Optimus G has a 13 megapixel camera. Both do uh, 1080p video recording and stuff like that. It's a little higher on the megapixels here with the uh, Optimus G here. Take a look here, sort of on um, the side here, sort of thinness and sort of the how thin and thick each one is. The Optimus G is just a little bit thicker here. It's more sort of a candy bar shape, which you traditionally would see with sort of phones and sort of this, this curved shape here with the Galaxy S3 that we started to come to see to come into play sort of with the Nexus line of phones. You can see kind of like the differences right there just a little bit. But both are very light, feel very good in the hand. Both are very nice, feel comfortable, feel very solid builds. Another difference here being this has a removable battery and SD card slot and a 2100 milliamp hour battery. There's no removable battery on this one, but there's 2100 milliamp hours as well. And it's also got 32 gigabytes of built-in storage, while this has 16 and some variants have 32. So that's just a quick and dirty look between the uh, LG Optimus G and the Samsung Galaxy S3.